I draw a lot on the the myths and legends of the different worlds, religions, and spiritual traditions. So with your permission, I'm going to refer to Pentecost in the Christian tradition as a myth, as a legend. I mean, maybe you believe that it actually happened, and some version of it probably did, but we're looking at it metaphorically in this moment. Okay, so the disciples are hiding out in Jerusalem in the upper room because the authorities have crucified their rabbi, Jesus, and they're scared and they know that they're, the Romans are probably out to get them as well because they're standing up against the empire. They have been, but their leader is, is dead and they don't know what to do. And so here they are in some kind of room and there's a crackling sound, let's say, and they look up and through the ceiling is descending these flames tongues of fire and they touch the top of their heads of the t heads of each one of the disciples the men the women let's just imagine the whole mishpucha they're all there and all of a sudden their fear falls away not only that but they're just inspired to go down into the city streets where all the danger is right and they do and when they encounter all these people who are pilgrims coming from all over the land speaking all the different languages Suddenly, they can understand everybody's language. Everybody can, un can understand. All, all the disciples who have been touched by the fire, all the languages of the world that are represented here in the streets of Jerusalem on Pentecost Day. That fire has melted the obstacles that otherize, that keep us from connection, that, that um, keep us in the illusion of separation. It's been dissolved and everyone can understand everyone. We reclaim our belonging. I love that.